So now I'm just uh, talking about uh, message passing and belief propagation in financial markets. I mean, modeling with Bayesian networks. Uh, so this message passing is is uh, generally is is a is an exact inference. But next week I will talk about approximate inference, specifically approximate uh, Bayesian, because uh, in general it's so hard. I mean, it's it may be NP hard. I mean, in terms of uh, complexity, uh, the order of complexity of your algorithm. So, but message passing can be combined with different uh, inference ideas. And uh, so, in, so we want to find the partition function, partition variable, but you could use it from any algorithm that you want, either clustering or uh, clustering or classification or regression, anything. You could find it, you could discover that. So, uh, so uh, the idea is that we are receiving some evidences, E, and we want to update our model so that um, it becomes consistent with the new knowledge that we are receiving from the world. So this, uh, the, the general and popular regular example you see that in general, reasonable assumption of conditional independence can reduce this storage requirement drastically. Instead of having a huge distribution, so we just uh, reduce the complexity by separating them. That's why this separation is so important. So it's uh, so we are interested in iterative procedures. Because now observation of uh, uh, the real uh, augmented data is, is, is too difficult. So we are interested to see what happens if we have a new evidence. What happens to the graph? If you have a graphical model and you receive some data, some evidences, and you want to update it. So graph coloring is a good example. For example, when you fix some some colors, some states of Australia here, then you have some very few limited uh, options for the for coloring of the next states. So the idea is that you have um, you have some evidence from top of the graph or bottom of the graph. It is propagated in a distributed manner. So it's like counting soldiers, the leader could be at the end of the graph, at the end of the chain, or at the, at the, at the middle of the chain. But uh, still, usually we use, uh, we update the graph from evidence that are generated from uh, top of the top of the graph, and E plus for evidences from bottom of the graph. So you could see uh, such a scenario and uh, so so we so because Professor Judah Pearl was an electrical engineer he used to model this propagation by some electrical symbols. So the basic idea in chain row in chain graphs could be seen here in a more general graph but each node has just one parent but it could have some some children so we use data fusion uh, so we get some evidences from top and bottom of the graph and we calculate belief of that so for each node we calculate lambda and pi so it's like passing a message that's why it is called message passing, and we calculate belief of x. So by knowing the lambda, we can calculate lambda, and uh, pi, we can calculate belief of x. So this formula is incredibly important because the only information that we need to know is just pi and lambda. 
So the algorithm is uh, step one is just updating belief updating simultaneously inspects the pi messages communicated by its parents and messages communicated by each of its children and then in the second step we bottom up propagation so we have some evidence in bottom of the graph we update the nodes so that it becomes consistent and in the last step we do top-down propagation we have an evidence that it's mm, coming from the top of the graph and we see what happens when we update uh, the rest of the nodes so it could be this is step one step two step three step four five six and finally uh, all the messages propagated to the rest of the network and all nodes are updated so in general it is not so easy I mean it could have a chaotic uh, behavior so it doesn't necessarily um, converges it doesn't converge and uh, so you you have to make sure uh, it converges and in general the order of complexities and P hard problem uh, so that's why we use we use approximate inference instead of uh, uh, exact inference.